7 a.m. in the Cambodian countryside, and the residents of Kampung Spu province, along with millions of other Cambodians, are beginning their day. Vung Van is a 38-year-old mother of four. She starts her mornings by feeding her chickens, sending her children off to school, and collecting firewood. Vung Van works to support her family by running their rice farm, and by making palm sugar out of sap collected by her husband. <laughs> My name is Vung Vân. I have been working as a farmer since I got married. And combined with my husband's money, we are able to meet our day-to-day -day expenses and even save a small amount every month. Currently, our house is too small for our family and we need a new roof and wall. This project would allow us to improve our living standards and the well-being of our children. <coughs> This story is one that's repeated hundreds of thousands of times across Cambodia every year, where low-income Cambodians see opportunities to expand their businesses or improve their livelihoods, but lack the capital to achieve their goals. Cambodia's microfinance sector bridges this gap and has become an integral part of the country's development. ជារួមពីយើងមានទស្សនវិជ្ជមានទៅលើការវិវត្តរបស់វិស័យមីក្រូហិរញ្ញធំ Founded in 1994, TPC is one of the oldest Cambodian MFIs and has become the fifth largest by number of borrowers with over 120,000 clients. Though TPC had been operating in Vung Vun's village for seven years, the home improvement loan product had been recently developed and she would be one of its first customers. After speaking with the TPC credit officer, Vung Vun invited him to her home to discuss the project and start her application. Developing World Markets, a socially responsible emerging markets fund manager, acquired TPC in 2010. The acquisition brought in new resources and best practices from DWM's microfinance experience around the world and set TPC on a track towards sustainable growth. Ara Sadaba, TPC's CEO, believes the MFI's focus on its clients and innovative products including home improvement loans and seasonal loans for farmers, have been the keys to its success. TPC has grown tremendously over the past several years. We now have 39 offices, almost 700 staff, and more than 120,000 clients across Cambodia. We've been able to grow so quickly because of our commitment to responsibly serving our clients. Our home improvement loan is a very good example of this. We did a survey of rural households and were able to determine that there is a very big need from them to improve their living condition or their household condition. But they would rather use their income to grow their businesses. So what we did is we introduced a home improvement loan which has long tenor and requires small frequent payments which would allow them to grow their business and still improve their houses. Deputy CEO Sub Vun says that homes are also a productive asset for many Cambodians, like Sapia, who used her loan to build a storage area for the shop she runs out of the bottom floor of her house. <laughs> ក៏ប៉ុន្តែអនុទីននេះអាចជួយបង្កើននៅចំណូលរបស់អតិជនដែលមានអាជីវកម្មនៅតាមផ្ទះសម្បែងផងដែរជាងនេះទៅទៀត
ជាពិសេសបង្ហាញអំពីការអភិវឌ្ឍន៍ TPC's success and footprint across rural Cambodia has made it a strong partner for development organizations and an attractive investment for international lenders. In 2012, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, the U.S. government's development finance institution, began discussions with TPC about potential opportunities to expand their impact in Cambodia. Two of OPEC's priority sectors for investment are housing and financial services, and TPC's offering in both these areas, as well as its high standards and strong performance, made it an ideal partner. ពីបានសម្រាប់ចាត់ផ្ដល់នៅព្រះបំជ័យចំនួន <coughs> ក្នុងគោលក្នុងតម្រងជាអនុបំណងជាផ្នែកមួយនៃគោលដៃរបស់ព្រះបំជ័យពាក់កណ្ដាលនៃទំហំអនតៀនដែលបានទទួលពីស